Today, I'm going to share with you my top five tips, top five tools, and top five Optavia tools. So it doesn't matter what weight loss program you're on. Let me give you some tips for success that I have encountered on my journey. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and I am living in the light by documenting my weight loss journey and I happen to be using the Optavia 5-in-1 program. As I said earlier, it doesn't matter what weight loss program you're using, all of these tips are going to be helpful for you. So what I'm going to cover in this video are my five tips. Let me give them to you really quickly and then I'll break them down for you. First of all, um, your mental state. Second of all, your goals. Third of all, your planning. Fourth is community. And fifth are the tools. And when I get to the tools, I'm gonna to give you five tools in general, and then five tools that are focused on Optavia, but they may be helpful for other weight loss applications as well. Before we get started, could I please invite you to subscribe to my channel if you have not already? I really do, as I will talk about later, really do get encouraged by seeing the number of subscribers grow. I am by no means an influencer, a lot of YouTubers, um, and I hesitate to even call myself a YouTuber, um, but a lot of YouTubers have thousands, even up into the millions of subscribers. I've got less than 200 right now, so... Um, <laughs> I, I don't have a wide audience, but I would love it if you would subscribe. If you would like the video, that is really encouraging to me. And if you would leave me comments, questions in the comments box, that would be helpful to me as well. So my first tip is that weight loss all starts in your head. It's all in your head. Yes, we put food in our mouths and that is what has caused us to gain weight, but it starts with where we are in our minds, in our heads, what are we thinking? And it is about the choices that we make, whether we're going to eat something or not some, eat something, whether we're gonna drink the water, whether we're going to move the way we're supposed to move, whether we are going to eat what is good for us or what is not good for us, that all starts with choices that we make in our head. So you have to be in the right mental state. I think it's one of the things that I really uh, noticed with the program that I am on that my coach really kind of left the ball in my court whether or not I was going to sign up for the program. So she did not want me to commit to a program until I was ready to commit to the program. And I think that is 100% of the reason for my success on this program is that I made a determination at the very beginning that I was going to succeed with this. I didn't have any other option. It was not an option to fail. It was not an option to give up. Um, initially, I committed to three months of, uh, I was gonna dedicate myself to the program for three months. And after about a month and seeing the success the steady success after about a month, six weeks, I said, no, I'm in this for the long haul. So I, I will probably be on this program for at least a year in order to get to my weight loss goal. And then there will be a period of transition and a period of maintenance. So, you know, there will, I will probably be on Optavia materials. That was Moxie, uh, for a good amount of time. Uh, just because I know this program is what is working for me. It's really important that you make that determination. My word is steadfast. I am going to be steadfast. I am unmovable. I am not going to give up. You have to make that determination in your mind. And I think if you can wrap your mind around the fact that failure is not an option and I have to make good choices, that the choices that the reason why I'm in this position is because of choices that I made and therefore I need to change those choices to make better choices to get to my goal. 
Speaking of goals, that is my tip number two, and that is have goals. Have achievable goals. Have one goal that's way far down the road. My long-term goal is to lose 150 pounds. I am going to make that goal. And, but looking just at that 150 pounds is so far down the road. It's not something that I can achieve in a week or a month and maybe not even in a year, it is so far down the road that it would be very discouraging to just look at that goal all the time. So instead, set smaller goals to help you achieve the larger goal. So I've broken that 150 pounds down into 25 pound increments. So far I've met my first one, very close to my second 25 pounds. Um, hopefully I will achieve that in the next couple of weeks. Uh, like I am, um, five pounds away from my neck from that. So I should, if I don't get there on Monday, I will be there the following Monday. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, but do set those shorter goals to make sure that you are, um, have something that you can attain in a shorter period of time. And along with goals, it's really important to have rewards. So for some people, rewards are um, going shopping, getting their nails done. I've talked about this in the past. That's not for me. Um, those kinds of things, you know, it's nice to, to buy myself something new, but that's not the way that my brain works or that's not what gives me fulfillment. Uh, where I find fulfillment is in spending quality time with people, which is really hard to reward yourself with somebody else's time. And also words of encouragement, words of affirmation, if you follow the five love languages, um, those are my two major love languages. Uh, words of affirmation, hence the whole reason why I am living in the light. The reason why I do YouTube videos, the reason why I post on Instagram and Facebook is because when I do, I get those words of affirmation. I get the way to go, you're doing great. We love that, you're an inspiration. You've really helped me. Those kinds of things are what feeds my soul. That is my reward. And so thank you. Um, and again, if you haven't subscribed, do, because that tells me that there are people who are cheering me on. Um, so find what rewards you and use those. Find that love language and use that as your reward for a job well done at the end, meeting your goal at the end of the week, meeting your goal at the end of the month. Um, find ways to reward yourself on the short term and in the long term. Um, I would really like when I get my 150 pounds off is to go on a cruise. Um, I, I've been on cruises before. I love going on cruises, but I want a really good cruise on, you know, like something that's like at least a week long, uh, maybe Alaska, maybe a Caribbean with a bunch of islands um, on a really nice ship. So we'll see if I can uh, achieve that goal. So it's a, that's a thought for, um, because that's quality time um, and also really good food. I'm not sure I would do well on a cruise right now. Anyway, so set yourself goals, give yourself rewards. That's tip number two. Tip number three is to plan ahead, prepare. Know what you are doing ahead of time. If you have followed me at all, you know that I am a huge planner. I don't just make a list for a day, I make lists for a month. And so when I started the Optivia program, I created this binder um, and it has been so helpful to me. I know this doesn't work for everybody. You may not want to plan as far in advance as I do, but this is what really does work for me and it keeps me on track and I can't stress this enough. So in my binder, the very first thing that I have in my binder are monthly breakdowns of what I'm going to eat each day. And I do this partly to keep myself on track and also to help me plan my orders each month. Um, so I know that I'm not going to end up having, you know, a day of all bars because I forgot to have enough variety in my choices. So I do kind of plan it out that way. 
Um, and so th these are like my monthly plans and I'm actually planned through the middle of November because my box for next month is showing up hopefully at the beginning of next week before I go out of town. And so I've already figured that out. Um, the next section that I have is my weekly plans. You see you've seen these as well. Um, I have both of these available as a PDF. It's just my handwriting, um, but I saved it as a PDF. So if you want me to send it to you so that you can use the similar format, um, that's great. But what I'll do is I'll take what's on my monthly plan and then week by week, I add it. I create a sheet for that week. And this is what I do like on a Friday night or a Saturday morning. I, create, I copy this list out and I choose my lean and green. So I go through the recipes that I have in here, things that I haven't tried that I'm interested in trying. I look at several websites. My favorite one is leanandgreenrecipes.net. It's run by a guy named Chris Sloan. He also has a Facebook group, which is really great. Shout out to Chris um, in case you ever watch my videos. Um, I love the recipes, the variety. This coming week, I'm gonna make his Mexican meatloaf, his minestrone. Uh, there are several recipes that I wanna try. Um, so I'm going to jump in and do that. Might be making some videos for that. But I keep my weekly plans. And that is so, so important that you plan ahead. You know what you are going to have before the week even starts, before the day even starts. You get those fuelings prepared and planned. And if you've seen um, any of my other organizational tips, you also know that I pre-package my days for an entire week in quart size Ziploc bags. I put all the fuelings in there. They're all labeled Sunday through Saturday. And so all I have to do at the beginning of the day is pick up that baggie with all of the fuelings in them. And I don't even have to think about it. Sometimes I swap them out, but most of the time I stick with that. And having that list is super important. And I teach high school English. And one of the things that we do with the students as we provide them with a rubric or a checklist that tells them exactly what they need to have in their assignment. And, and as they complete those things, they should check those things off. And I have learned through my training that if you check something off of a checklist, your brain releases endorphins that make you feel happy, right? Don't we wanna feel happy? So create yourself a list of exactly what you wanna eat during the day don't just write down what you eat as you eat it. I think that maybe that's helpful for some people, but for the most part, it, you are going to do better if you write everything down beforehand and then eat from that list. Don't deviate from that list. Eat only what you write on that list. And so planning and preparing, that is tip number three. Tip number four is to surround yourself with a community, not just your family and friends who hopefully are supportive of you on this journey, but also join into a Facebook group, um, follow Instagrammers, follow YouTubers, hello, subscribe, um, follow people on TikTok who are following your weight loss program. So whether it be Optavia or Weight Watchers or Whole30 or Keto, find a group of people who are like-minded, who are going to support and encourage you. That is, has been so helpful to me. And honestly, I, as I said, I've lost weight with a lot of different organizations. Optavia has the best community of supporters that I have ever seen. They, people are truly, cheering each other on and encouraging each other. I rarely see any negative talk on any of the Facebook groups that I participate in. It's all so positive and so encouraging. And that is really important that you surround yourself with people and that you also stay in good contact with your coach. Please make sure that you are checking in on a weekly basis, if that's what you need, if you, uh, or more, if you need that, let your coach know if you have questions, if you're having problems, if you're feeling discouraged, but have that community of support to help you along your way. 
So my tip number five are the tools that are helpful tools to have for any weight loss program. First of all, having a meal app, a food reminder app, um, something, whether it is MyFitnessPal or something where you are recording what you are eating, or if you're on Optavia, you, I use the EatWise app and I'll put a link in the box below. Uh, that sends me a reminder every two and a half hours that it's time to eat. So um, I try to eat every two and a half hours, between two and a half to three hours. And so that sends me my little reminder that it's time to eat because frankly, I will forget if I don't have the reminder. The next thing is to have a water app and I have Drink Water, that is the app that I have. Again, I'll put a link in the description box below to that app. It is really helpful. It takes your height, your weight, your age, and it tells you how much water you should be drinking and you can log in your water in however many increments, ounce increments you want to in order to achieve that goal by the end of the day. And then you get achievements again. Hello, reward. You did great. That's what I'm getting every day when I meet my goal. All right. So having those two apps, I can't show them to you because they're on my phone and I record this on my phone. Um, along with the water app is a good water bottle. Um, you find one that you like. I, there are so many different kinds of water bottles out there. Thermal, not thermal, straw, spout, open top, I, you know, flip top, whatever you want, whatever works for you is great. For me, drinking water from a straw is a lot easier than drinking from a spout or like a cup or whatever. So I have, I don't want a bottle that's too big, but I also don't want one that I have to constantly fill up. So this is a 40 ounce water bottle. And this is really helpful for me setting my water goals because I will drink three and a half of these a day. And I've talked about how I go through that um, in a day to get all of my water in. But this, instead of carrying a big gallon jug around with me, this is a smaller version and it is perfect for me. Um, but find a water bottle that works for you. Number three is a food scale. Um, this is the one that I have. There are lots of food scales out there. They're not expensive. This one is an OXO, came from Target, I'm sure. Um, I've had it for a while, so I'm not really sure if I got it there or if I got it from Amazon. Um, but it will do pounds, ounces, and kilograms, grams. Um, but whatever you do with your meals, whatever weight loss program you're on, weigh your food uh, so that you get the right portion size. Don't eyeball it because you're not going to get it right if you're just eyeballing it. Um, so if it says four ounces of chicken, weigh out four ounces of chicken um, and don't deviate from that. Um, follow whatever the recipe says to do. A lot of recipes now focus on uh, weights and that's really important. So get yourself a good food scale. And then the fifth thing that everybody should have is an awesome digital scale. This one is amazing. Um, there are a lot of versions of this out. I've seen this in white. I've got it in black. Um, I got this again from Amazon. I'll put the link in the box down below if you want to check that one out. The great thing about that one is um, not only is it digital, but it's also Bluetooth. So it connects to my phone, an app on my phone and keeps track of my, every time I get on the scale, it records that weight. It tells me BMI, it, tell, it shows me charts of, of what's happening with my, um, the water content in my body, the fat ratios, the, I mean, it's got a bunch of, I don't know, bone density. I don't know what's in there, but there's a lot of stuff in there, little numbers. And I really, I only pay attention to the weight and the BMI and watching that um, go down ever so slowly, but steadily. Um, so get something like that. It's a super thing to have. Those are the top five tools that I think that you need to have no matter what weight loss program you're on. I hope that you found those tips to be helpful. I hope that you found some things that were encouraging, that were inspiring to you. Please let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that I can do. Reach out to me. Uh, my contact information is in that message down below. And until I see you the next time, keep living in the light.